Hey owners with Mount Laurel Chalets, this is Tom Goodwin, the CEO, greeting you. Glad to be uh, sending you a greeting on this side of reservations being open since May 1st. Uh, well, we have been very busy, uh, not only since May 1st opening, but even leading back to March 22nd when we closed our office. And we've made some uh, significant changes that I think are going to benefit you and benefit us as a company, and I wanted to fill you in on those. Well, there's a lot I'd like to share with you. Uh, there's a lot on my mind. I might cover some of it here, and I might go to another house and cover some more on the video. So this is a bit of stream of consciousness, so hold on with me. I uh, hope that uh, you'll be able to make it through this video and get this uh, information and find it to be helpful to you. A couple things that we want to let you know. Uh, as we reopened May 1st, we really were taking a uh, deep dive into our cleaning department and realizing we needed to have some uh, significant changes in that area. Uh, we have hired, doubled our cleaning crews. We've hired four more uh, cleaning crews. Uh, we've hired a consultant in this uh, meantime to help us to onboard those cleaning crews. We've uh, decreased the amount of homes that our cleaners are working in so they can spend longer in the homes. And we've uh, doubled the price that we're paying our cleaners to clean these homes. Uh, so we're realizing that at this time, uh, people are demanding and expecting and we want to deliver clean homes. And we're very pleased with our results. Uh, that we're seeing as we're monitoring uh, since the middle of May, these new cleaning crews, and I think you'll be pleased as you see them in your homes. I would venture to say it's the number one challenge that we face in this community is finding really good cleaners and keeping them on top of their game. Uh, but I think we're moving in a, a great direction for that. Uh, some other things that we're doing is that we've hired uh, outside contracting service to do all of our lawns, and this crew is able to do 17 to 20 lawns a day. Uh, so right now they're coming on a weekly basis, three days, and getting all of the houses done. And uh, it's the weeds and grass are growing at enormous rates with the amount of rain and the sunshine that we're having. We really want to stay on top of that. It was just too much uh, for one employee uh, to be able to do. Uh, in well, as I promised, I'm at a different location, another house. I had to leave Dogwood Cottage because it's rented. And it was a back-to-back, -back, as many of our reservations are. It has been so exciting this June and July to uh, be back in business. And it's almost like trying to drink a sip of water out of a fire hydrant. It's that busy. I want to take some time to let you know uh, the incredible work that our employees have been doing during this time, going above and beyond. Corey Hawks and Hap McLaughlin have not left uh, the office. Uh, well, of course, they've had the regular days off, but they haven't taken any extended time off. They have kept the ship running, uh, working their 40 plus hours a week. Believe me, it's more plus uh, lately uh, since March 22nd when we had to close due to COVID. Uh, so because of them, we've been able to, um, to right the ship and uh, move forward in a great direction and make a lot of changes. Uh, HAP has really, uh, uh, single-handedly help great, bring great lift to the maintenance department uh, even during um, the shutdown and then preparing us uh, for our busy season right now. So we're so grateful for them, for both of them, uh, continually for their above and beyond work. Um, I, I got to name everyone um, because everyone has done an incredible job. Kay King primarily has been working at home, though she's back in the office now. Uh, we have launched a new website. Uh, we, we did that right at the beginning of April. And then Kay went in and did a deep dive on all the Google uh, requirements, labeling every single photo, defining and describing each photo, giving it meta tags and so forth, which allows us to have a really good ranking on Google and for the search engines that are out there. Uh, she has also uh, maintained communication with you, maintained uh, scheduling the deep cleans and, um, and creating uh, the bills for all the expenses that are due, and then now uh, full-blown into a lot of maintenance orders that I'm sure you've been in touch with her uh, for some of your needs as well. So we're so grateful for Kay, uh, grateful to have her back in the office, and our front desk team, uh, Cheryl Massey and Pam uh, Penny. So awesome uh, how they have stepped up to the plate and answering the phone nonstop, handling guests, complaints, refunds after refund after refund after excuse after 
um, then helping people understand how to move forward with new reservations, uh, how to filter uh, conversations and answer people's questions while the phone's ringing and other people are on hold. So they have been juggling a lot uh, in this time and they've had a great attitude, a great spirit, can do spirit of jumping in. So we're so, so grateful uh, for them. Uh, Jenny has been, uh, still works part time for us in our finances and billing, which allows us to close our books at the end of the month and in conjunction with Kay uh, to get you your owner statements and your payments out by the second day of the month, even during COVID. So I'm so grateful for their continued commitment to excellence. Um, Marina uh, Torres in our um, in our laundry department has done an incredible, incredible job. We have doubled the amount of laundry that we're doing because we're cleaning every blanket with every turn. So not only the sheets and the pillowcases and the towels and the kitchen supplies done, but large 100% waffle blankets, all king size, uh, are being washed eight at a time, dried four at a time, We've designated an entire back room uh, to that area. So we're so grateful for Marina. Uh, her cheerful attitude, her um, incredible organization, and her ability to get our new cleaners and those crews all of the inventory and the merchandise or the, uh, the clean uh, supplies that they need. Her job is very, very difficult. She's a very little person and she's got, she packs a punch. So we're so, so grateful for Marina. Us and your trust in us as a company is does not go unappreciated. So we hope that you are staying safe and that you're enjoying the rest of your summer. Give us a shout out. Let us know how we can better serve you. Thanks so much.